Hello, so TP200. Uh, still no info available. This is 15th of December 2021 uh, on the English side, but there's plenty of info in the Chinese side of the site. So, if you want uh, sounds, if you want a quick review or rundown of this pedal, click away now. This, you won't like this video. This is for someone that wants to know details about it and can sit around for a while. Okay, let's go. First of all, I've read the manual and basically you will be using mostly this knob here. It's called the param knob parameter and it's basically uh, turning and a rotary encoder and you also press it. You'll notice that the top line of foot switches have are very tall. This is unusual but good because they will prevent from stepping on things by accident. So let's go to the let's go through this first and now let's go to the manual so we've got the typical stuff it needs uh, 1000 milliamps 9 volt to work I think it's included from what I've seen in videos Um, in the previous video I said that these things change, the colors change, but I didn't see something like that in the manual. Maybe the devil. You get your, every module you can access it straight away from this here. As you can see here, pre, wa, distortion, amp noise reduction cab, EQ, if you're wondering, I'll tell you later, but 20 IRs, custom IRs, EQ, modulation delay re reverb. It has trails, but um, it doesn't define if it's from patch to patch or just for turning on and off the switch. So we've got volume, gain, presence. These are the uh, three controls here, the tens. These control the values. Global goes to the global manual. Drum is the, it's got a drum machine. Back is back. Enter is to press the para. And save is to save. The foot pedal's got two model modes and controls, I'll show you later, okay. 4.3 inch LCD. Ah, I forgot to tell you, this is a translated um, manual. It's not uh, an original English one, it's a Chinese one, translated. So some things might look funny. Anyway, you got the idea, control, you hold it for looper down, tuner, you hold it for tuner, and that's pretty much the controls. You've got expression, so you've got the normal expression, you can have a second one, or you can have two switches, or one switch, external. Input, auxin, Effects loop, unbalance, left, right, ground lift for the balance. Go to the PA, phones, mid in, out and through, USB type C, power and 9 volts, 1000 milliamps. This machine contains 256 presets. By default, the 100 first presets contain factory parameters.
from what I can understand. And then, this is the screen. Up here is the volume, monitoring. Pedal, it's got two modes, so A or B. The beep beats per minute for the preset, the preset volume. Here is the mas mode that the machine is in, the effect pedal. This is the preset, the preset name. And what are the settings for the foot switches? Down here, we have a quick adjustment for some things. You can adjust the things um, where you want to be here, available to adjust quickly. The tuner that has bypass and mute, very good. The looper. The looper can go to 180 seconds with this which is three mi minutes. Three minutes and it shows you up here what it does, if it's recording or it's playing, overdubbing. I'm not sure if it's got undo. It's got half speed, it's got reverse. But I'm not sure about undo, which is useful. And this uh, synchronization with drum uh, machine can be done. The drum machine has 100 rhythm patterns, different styles, you see here. And some controls for volume and speed. So when you press hard on the expression pedal, it changes from A to B state. It's got two states. I'll tell you now that uh, I can control three parameters in each state. So six parameters and also the external pedal, expression pedal can also control three par parameters. So it can change the order of the effects. You generally use the para knob to do things. So I think here it says you can, with the control setting, you can turn on and off multiple things. You set one of the bottom four foot switches as control, and you make it decide what you want to do with it. It says here about the loop. Effects loop, pedal settings, control setup is the foot switches what we will do, pedal settings is the expression pedal, effects loop can be um, serial or parallel. So in this case, your sound goes into the effects loop, 
comes out and here it's 50 50. part of it goes out and comes back and part of it remains i don't know do you have controls or how much no i can't see that anyway here it says how you name things looks okay global settings we saw it has a global button up here we go in here input output you can choose what type of guitar you use so it has the right impotence this is for acoustic guitars one for electric guitars so to use with with synthesizers or other equipment that's very useful it contains the gain the input and it also has the no cabinet mode so you um, if you've got all your sounds with IRs and you want to play with your effects and whatever, all your patches and it into a guitar amp, then you can turn off the cabs all together from the global menu. It says here. So this is very important. Remember that, where it is, USB ad audio, so you can do, um, when you're recording through the USB, you can pass what you're playing on the guitar clean into the computer without all the effects you might have on the device, or you can send it with the effects. And you also can send the aux to the USB. I can send left channel with effects and right channel without effects. So that's interesting. So here, uh, where you see foot spikes means foot switches. And it's got a pre-select mode and normal mode. Pre-select, uh, it changes getting ready to go in a preset, but it doesn't engage until you press it. So, foot nail, your foot nail templates are divided into preset mode, single block mode, and custom mode. So we can control how it will work. not very clear here because it's in Chinese here you can see what it contains so pretty much I don't know if you can change all the, f all the foot switches but it seems like you can change the function of the foot switches.
but pretty much what's interesting is control one two three four function that you can select multiple or one effect to go on and off from what I understand expression pedal calibration nothing important here parameters of the external pedal or foot switches as I said earlier you can have two external foot switches let me zoom in here to see what you do so you can select the, you can use them like extra two normal foot switches and do whatever you want with it like anything of the above here any of these things but if you've got control one two four or already on one to four maybe you can't make a control five or six so yeah maybe it's more for what could you do to go back so pads up and down maybe so yeah maybe it would be better if it had a control five and six here and then we go to midi so midi is quite complicated you can see if you can use it through the MIDI on the device or through USB so you've got that choice to use it over USB lots of pedals use that and you can mix signals and I think it's okay I don't know I don't use much MIDI I don't use any media, I tell you the truth. Now it's got display, brightness and so on. This cab auto follow, just depending on the amp, changes the cab. And it's got a global IQ, which is quite goes in depth is good so you can uh, change your sound of all your presets like if you go and play somewhere and it's too much space you just turn down the global EQ bass for example go to many highs be supporting software it's available to download but I don't think they usually don't work unless you have the unit to connect as you can see here you put your IRs Pretty straightforward. Well, I think the unit's straightforward anyway. So you've got some use scenarios here. I won't go through that. They're pretty basic, typical about MIDI connection app 
two different amps. Here you can see the double foot speeds. An effects loop. Or cable method. So here we got the effect li list. Compression. So we can see they don't have a standard number of adjustments. Some have more, some have less. You can see here what they are. Acoustic. Simulation, treble, volume, thunder, analog. So there are a few effects. That have some parameters you can sense. Petrucci tone settings. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, different was overdrives. I'll go through them quickly. Tube screamer. All the basic overdrives. A couple of phases. It's good. Four phases. Four fast pedals. You get the amps. Fender ramps. Vox. Marshall. Mesa Boogie. Some boogies, orange, kiwi, ingo, diesel. Ah, it's got bass hams too. That's good for bass players. Or if you want to record a bass track. Oh, there's plenty. That's good. Acoustic. Interesting. So that's all the amps. So we've got bass amps too. And it will probably be bass cabinets too. Noise gate here. I hear the cabinets. So there will be same with the amps. So it's easy to see them here. Easier to the eye. High watt. Double. And it's got the Bass amps. So you've got one, two, three, four, five bass amps. Ah, oh, it's got 
acoustic simulation mandolin tone got equals you've got 20 IR slots you've got a couple of VQs chorus this synchronization the beats per minute a few effects here typical effects and now delays so delays you've got trails as I said I don't know if this is in the same patch or when changing patches because it says after the effect is closed not after the patch is changed so you we will have to see if this will work when changing patches probably not the the adjustments are basic except this rip delay And the ring and core. Low fire echo. So this got modulation, but the only effect, it only controls the depth. We don't have any speed of the modulation control. So it's just above basic the defects, the controllability you have. And again on the reverbs now you've got trails. Basic Reverbs, this might be a nice one. And star, deep sea, might be nice. Sounding reverbs, sweet space. Again, not many controls for the fix. Just simple. I, I like complicated controllability for effects makes it more fun there's an effect called volume it is just to change the volume these are the drama scene rhythms so most of them are in 4-4 four some shuffled here trip hop trip trip hop trip hop trip hop here trip hop trip hop trip hop trip hop samba be done day da 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 metronome here These are what you can control with the MIDI. Yeah, again, I see it's only one, two, three, four controls. 
so there probably isn't five and six. They stop. Looper. Okay. And some trouble shooting. And the specification 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz, 256 presets. Maximum time of recording three minutes. USB sampling depth depth sixteen bit or twenty four bit forty four point one kilohertz. Size and weight two point three kilos three. 35 centimeters by 22 and that's about it so I don't know with these units it's all it all comes down to the for me at least to the price if it's um, if the trails work from patch to patch that's good. You can control three things with the f the, the expression pedal, so that's cool. And you can control six things when you press it again. That's very cool. Very interesting. Lots of amps. Twenty IRs only, but okay. What would be cool is if it could have a different IR on the left and different on the right. I didn't see any color changing uh, option. So, and I don't think this happens. This does for the side. The color changing on the foot pedal. I mean. I don't think these colors change either. Or maybe they do, depend because you can you've got the control function, right? So but you only got four controls, so yeah. They probably don't change. Anyway, I think if this unit's around two hundred euros up or down will be a good unit and if it lasts and doesn't break you've got IR, IR loading so you can make it sound good it's got an FX loop so you can use it with your amp okay that's all thanks for watching